Hey y'all! So this is what I'm calling my hashtag mom life makeup, um, but really just kind of a no makeup makeup look, I guess. It's very fast. Um, I'll, I've, I'll say it later in the video, but I have done this makeup look in five minutes. Um, I did end up doing my eyes in a different tutorial, so I'm just kind of focusing on the skin and the face and the products that we use to kind of create this super pretty, um, soft and youthful look I think that's really nice for every day and especially if you're in a hurry um so yeah so I kind of go through some products that I always grab in the morning that just really speed up my process so um please give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of quick out the door type makeup looks um and don't forget to comment down below let me know um some things that make your life easier in the morning when you're in a hurry kind of maybe your go-to products or any tricks that you found that just speed things up because your girl needs it right now um i feel like i'm going 90 to nothing lately so um but yeah so thank you guys for watching and let's get going on the tutorial so i was gonna go like fix my hair and um, change my shirt because I'm 99.9% .9 sure I've got spit up on my shirt, but I thought, you know what, no, like this is hashtag mom life, <laughs> and my hair rarely gets fixed anymore, um, pretty much stays like this most days, like, um, when I'm just in a hurry, and this is all about being quick, in a hurry, um, get in, get out kind of thing. So this is a mixture of drugstore and high-end products. So I just want to let you guys know that. Um, obviously, y'all know that on my channel, I like to do more drugstore um, products because I feel like they're more accessible to um, everybody. So sorry about that, but I don't think, I think most of everything is drugstore. So um, yeah, and I'll try to like tell you guys some alter like alternate um, products that are from the drugstore that I would use instead of but I wanted to show you guys like my tried and true um, when I need to do really quick really fast makeup and get out the door these are the products that I go to um, that just make it easier for me so let's get started already washed my face moisturized and primed so use whatever primer you like um, best I just used a moisturizing one today because my skin's been really dry since I've had casein so um, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline BB Fresh, um, Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. So basically a Maybelline BB Cream. Um, I should have used, I should have in included this in my 2017 favorites because this has been, um, pretty much my go-to for all of 2017. Um, like, probably even before I had casein, but now I use it, like, a lot. Um, so I just take it a little bit and I start down here um, and then go around here, up my forehead. And with this kind of makeup, I really just try to target um, places that I actually need some coverage. So I don't really worry about going like bringing a bunch of product here. Um, I just kind of... This is really like a natural makeup look. As you can see, I didn't take any up here because we're going to put concealer up there and I don't like to do a whole lot of um, like foundation or BB cream up here and then also apply a bunch of concealer because I just feel like it gets a little more too cakey and I have a lot of texture, so um, just an FYI. Okay, so lately I have been doing, now this is, I guess, a little excessive but I've been taking some Tarte Shape Tape and then Maybelline Age Rewind and using these two. Um, if you obviously are in super duper hurry don't worry about doing two you know just use your favorite concealer um, and a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape really goes a long way. I use the color what color is this? Fair Neutral um, I'm super pale, so, you know. Okay, then I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just blend that out a little bit. I really keep this super light, um, concealer closer to under my eyes, and then I really try to get in right here because that's where I have a lot of darkness, and obviously getting no sleep, um, doesn't help that. <laughs> 
I don't draw it in a triangle, I just start blending it down, like towards the nose. So you're kind of blending it, creating that triangle shape. And then I always take it over my eyelid too, and that basically you're priming your eyelids. If you, if you wanted to apply any eyeshadows, your eyelids are already ready to go. So it's just one less step you'd have to do later down the road. I feel like I have a little bit of redness right here I'd like to cover up. So lately, this has just kind of been a lately thing, I take a little bit of this right in that area. Now you could just go ahead and use a tart tart shape tape or whatever your favorite um, concealer is and call it a day. I just used this the other day and liked the combo. I liked the way it looked, so wanted to show you guys. Okay, so everything is pretty much blended out, um, and yeah, I feel like, you know, obviously I've got some discoloration that's kind of peeking through, um, my freckles are peeking through, all of that, so it's not obviously a full coverage look, but um, for this particular look, I don't care if it's full coverage, I just kind of want to get rid of some of the redness and make my skin look at least like a little bit you know, okay. Um, so this is basically a no makeup, a no, this is basically a no makeup makeup look. So with this look, I'm really all about glowy, healthy looking skin. So I'm going to take some of this. This is the Hourglass, oh, Hourglass, Hourglass um, Vanish Flash Stick in Champagne Flash. So it's basically just a cream highlighter. Um, I have been using this constantly. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that. Um, but I just take it on my finger and then rub it, or not, just tap it in. Try not to disrupt um, the concealer and BB cream that you put down. And then going to go up here and then over my brow bone. And then don't worry if it doesn't look like um, super blended yet we're gonna go back I just kind of get it down really quick this cream this is probably actually this is one of my absolute favorite cream um, highlighting products I used to really like the benefit what's up but this is way better um, and so I just take my sponge and just kind of press make sure there's no harsh lines um, I do feel like this isn't a step you want to skip. Um, even if you don't go in with any powder highlight, I think the cream just really makes, kind of adds to that super healthy, natural, lit from within type of look. And with a no makeup, makeup, um, look, it really just does a huge difference. I'm going to set under the eyes and bronze. So what I've been doing is using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And um, obviously I am obsessed with this to set under the eyes. Um, so when I take, I take this mainly and then a little bit of the yellow and I set directly under my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's no crease with creases, creasing with the beauty sponge. And then I just take it on my sponge. So we still have only used one tool. Another trick that makes things easier is just try to use this or use, you know, a few tools as much as possible. And then we just get right really close up under there and then I'm gonna take a little bit of it again and then start applying it from my uh, nose right here and then back. Uh, fluffy brush, this is from Wet n Wild and then this is a Wet n Wild pressed powder and um, I'm gonna take it and apply it, set the rest of my face a little bit. And I don't go too crazy with um, like a bunch of powder. I just get a little bit off of here. Back to the Shade and Light palette. I'm going to take this center color right here and I'm actually going to bronze with that shadow. So I contour with this color and then I bronze with this color. And this is just honestly, it's too deep for me um, right now. I mean, I'm sure if I had any hint of a tan, it'd be, it'd be okay. But I am so pale. Um, so I'm just going to take my bronzer and bronze like normal and really make sure to like blend. This stuff is obviously super pigmented so you really want to blend it nicely. Take a 
up of the hairline. Obviously try to get as close as you can to your hairline. But see, it just really like brings your whole face back into life. Like, and I always spray a little bit of Mario Badescu. Make sure those powders are set. While that's drying, I go ahead and take some brow gel. This is just NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Whatever brow gel you like, or however you do your brows. I go ahead and do my brows now. Um, when I'm in a hurry like this, this is literally all I do. Um, um, take the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. I'm going to take my sponge again. So we're still only, what, this is the third tool we've used. And I'm going to go back over that um, cream. Uh, highlight and then just add a little bit more and this actual this highlight is such a perfect highlight for every day um, for this kind of a look for work because it's just very soft it's not glittery or it's just a beautiful adds a beautiful sheen which for this kind of look is exactly what you want okay so um, then you can take whatever blush you want to use. Um, I, let's see, today, I'm just going to take this Makeup Revolution blush. This is in the color Nude. I think I've just recently talked about this on my channel. Um, okay, so we're just going to take this. I'm going to take the, uh, this is the Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm just going to take it on my cheek right here, and then start sweeping it back. Okay, so in another video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a super quick eye makeup look. Um, but if you didn't have time to do that, my suggestion would be take a big fluffy brush like this. Take that same bronzer you used. Apply a little bit of bronzer in the crease. Take your highlight here in the inner corner and throw on some mascara and you're done. So I'm going to show you guys kind of something like that. Um, but if you had a little bit extra time but maybe like two more minutes worth of extra time, you could do it. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a different tutorial. Um, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. That'll probably be the next one up. Okay, so I'm back with my eye makeup on. If you guys wanna see that tutorial, it will be probably uploaded um, next or shortly thereafter. Um, I timed myself, I did one eye and I timed myself in the other eye. It took me two minutes. So yeah, so if you're interested in that, be sure to keep eye keep a lookout for that makeup tutorial but um other than that i'm just going to take some this is a willing beauty um lip oil you can take whatever chapstick or lip gloss you like i just literally take some some of this or aquaphor or my two favorite um and apply it to my lips i take a little bit of setting spray which is this is nyx matte finish setting spray And that is it. Literally, that's it. Um, very fast. I've actually done this face makeup and had to not time myself, but like I was like, okay, I have five minutes. Let me throw on some makeup real quick. I need to get out the door. I was paying attention to it. I didn't do my eye makeup, but my face makeup t took me five minutes. So it's very fast, and I feel like it's still glowy. It's very youthful. Um, it's just enough makeup where it's like, oh. You know, she tried, but it's not overwhelming. It's very soft and natural. Um, so if you are uh, if you try it out, please let me know um, what you think. Or if you have any other tips for me as a new mom um, that you do that just makes your life easier with makeup um, and, you know, you're out the door, please leave them down below. I'm always looking to try different techniques or different products or things like that. Um, so, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it, if you guys do it, please let me know in the comments or tag me on Instagram. Be sure to follow me there. It's just at, it's just Mrs. Texas Beauty, all one word, no periods or anything like that. I'll link it down below in the description box if you guys want to follow me there. I'm much more active, obviously, on my Instagram because it's easier than here on my YouTube channel. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying my best to upload and get more videos out and more content out. Um, this is is something that I really enjoy doing but just making the time sometimes is just really hard right now between working full-time I do have a small business uh, photography and graphic design business plus a baby plus a marriage plus family it's just a lot so I'm trying but again this is something that I really love to do so 
Um, I'm very thankful for all you guys who do follow me. Um, and I guess that's it. I'm rambling. Okay. I'll see y'all guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah. Bye. What do you think about mom's makeup? You like it? Do you like it? Can you say thank you for watching? Say thank you.